Okay, we're coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply. This is more of our Oil Center Fuse 101. Today we're going to talk, just touch on uh, WVO and black diesel. Uh, when you're center fusing them, it's pretty much the same deal. Um, picking it up might be a little bit different and only weather wise. Okay, uh, black motor oil, black diesel is basically waste motor oil that's been mixed. Blends are all over the board. Okay, you can pick up waste motor oil pretty much year round. Doesn't matter how cold, it's a little bit thicker, but it's, you know, it's fine. Uh, vegetable oil, yeah, that almost becomes like you, you need a shovel to move it in January, February, and March if you're in the bitter temperatures, seriously. Okay, um, let's talk about the eight years ago, I would say it was probably 90% veg oil, 10% motor oil, the market. Um, price of diesel went up, renderers moved in, and uh, pretty much, it, and it, it really does depend. Some, uh, some places it's hard to get, other places it's easy, okay, from what our customers are telling us. Vegetable oil has a large amount of the larger contaminants, okay? Vegetable oil will, e even if it hasn't been outside, it's going to have water in it, okay? Just because they're throwing fries in, you know, there's ice, there's frost on the fries, the whole nine yards. Um, WVO, okay, um, you can run it straight. If you're going to run it straight, your vehicles need to be converted. Our vehicles are all converted. You can see them on our site. Uh, as a matter of fact, we've moved up. We don't have the VW truck. We have a VW Passat, and we have a Cummins diesel. All our vehicles are converted to run on straight veg oil, and all that is is a heated fuel tank, uh, coolant heated, uh, coolant heated fuel filter, flat plate heat exchanger, and then we're running a 12-volt veg therm for winter months. Okay, we also in our onboard tank run a veg oil blend. Uh, right now I'm running a 50 50 blend, it's working fine. Uh, black diesel, like I said, is basically motor oil that's been blended. Blends are all over the board. People are using diesel, kerosene, heating oil. Uh, some people are blending with ATF. Um, ATF seems to be the cat's meow. Transmission fluid, basically clean it, make sure it's dry. You don't have to blend it with anything. Um, motor oil now, a, a lot of people will ask me about pre-filtering motor oil and I basically tell them other than cigarette butts, you know, that uh, the mechanic threw in a drum, what are you pre-filtering for? It's already been filtered through a full flow filter on an engine. So um, we don't worry about that. If your oil is dry, you can pre-blend it and run it through a centrifuge, okay? Basically, all oils needs to be heated and that's thinning the oil so that the contaminants can be pulled through it, you know, more efficiently. Uh, the heat is for thinning plus evaporation, okay? You're gonna hear it time and time again. When you get oil, settling. Nothing can, be, can beat that. Um, heating and evaporation, and then the centrifuge. Those three things, you can dry oil, okay? It's not a problem. Oh, what else? Um, vehicle makes and years. I know, like, up into the later 90s, you don't have to worry about any of your vehicles. I don't really tell people two things. I don't tell them what to blend with. Uh, I don't tell them uh, as far as using gas. Somebody does something stupid, you, you know how we are, and we're a very litigious society. Um, I had a Utah fire chief call me because somebody had poured gas in their oil. Gas will drop right through it and then turn their gear pump on. It didn't, they didn't blend it, um, and a pocket of gas went through the gear pump, caused it an explosion. Luckily, nobody got hurt. Um, I haven't blended with gas. I think I'm going to try it this summer. I've just read a lot about it. Um, 
you know, the movies are good, but I got to be honest, nothing's going to beat forums. And, and the, there's a good and a bad part because I tell people to go to forums and you'll have people, you know, racking up some information and then all of a sudden there's some guy saying, I'd never do that, you're going to ruin your vehicle. You know, and then some other guys like, well, I've been doing it for years. Um, I think if you, with cases like that, people will put out, you'll have enough people telling you that whatever that guy said was pretty much crazy. Um, okay, another question is veg oil. People want to know if this uh, centrifuge is going to pull the glycerin out. Honestly, glycerin is a biodiesel problem. Okay, biodiesel has a green wrap. I have no clue how it catches a green wrap, okay? While you can grow soybean, peanut, you know, whatever for oil, um, you're using some badass chemicals. I mean, you really are. You're using, we use potassium hydroxide and methanol, okay? Um, guys are using lye and methanol. So, um, in any case, getting back to the glycerin, glycerin only drops out through the chemical mixing with vegetable oil, okay? So if you're not making biodiesel, just running on vegetable oil, you're fine. A lot of guys are with the acidic in oil. Um, I, I gotta be honest, diesel's acidic. So I, I don't really see. Um, I wish I knew everything, I don't. Honest, honestly, there are guys out there on forums like, that'll blow you away with what they're doing, okay? It is a place to go to. Um, we have a forum library. It's into vegetable oil, motor oil, and then vehicle specific. We have Power Stroke, we have Duramax, and we have Cummins. We have Generators, Volkswagen. So go there and talk to people. Read uh, people that are running your vehicle, because I know with motor oil, guys up into the later 2000s are running it. They might have to, I'm not a diesel mechanic, they might have to tweak things. I, I don't really know. What I can tell you is filtration, okay? Um, like I said, most of this isn't, like, isn't scripted, but I do have like where I write down these little notes and I have to keep looking. Uh, okay. I think that's pretty much it. I think it's pretty much it. Um, stick with us. Uh, we're going to bring you more movies. I hope we're not boring the snot at you, out of you. My wife's doing the finger thing. That means wrap it up, okay? Um, again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply. We're going to try and bring you some information you can use.